Afternoon tubers, it's now, what, half past four? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Been out with the old trouble and strife, went Christmas shopping. And you know how much I like Christmas. Anyhow, we're not going to get into that too much. I've got a few other things to tell you in a minute. Uh, let's have a look who's put what up. Uh, One Pug Life, finally got it uploaded, buddy. He put up a video. We tried all day yesterday to try and get it up, but he finally got it done. Um, now he's got internet. He's got internet there, he told me today, so things are going to change uh, for the better, for the better. And he's going to get uh, his editing going and it's going to be much, much better. Um, I'm going over there tomorrow with uh, Where's Bobby, taking a load of my tools over, what i got stacked out there in the back room, and we're going to get them walls built tomorrow. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, let's see, who else put one up? Crazy Hillbilly. 225 his new channel yeah um ed gasket yeah you sound really down buddy hey listen i got that alero that red alero maybe we can do some sort of deal or something but you got to get a safety on it unless you know anybody you know what i mean um anyhow we we'll get away from that a crazy canuck 78 wow that's a nice bit of scrap you got there mate uh not a lot of weight but lots of space i reckon I don't know. I'd say maybe 600 bucks for that lot. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd, I'd say 600. We'll see. You know, go and watch his video. Yeah, it's in the, in the ones below as well. Um, yeah, I'd say 600. But we'll see. Uh, no ballast. Hey, that was a bitch, wasn't it? Could have made some money on that, couldn't you? Mark Freeman. I've always told you, buddy, when you get a scrap car, take the bloody fuses out to the airbags. Because you can always use the airbags again to make another video and do something funny. But no, no, you didn't, did you? Just blew them off. Well, nearly blew your mate's freaking arm off. Anyhow, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, Skaven Classic, Tug of War, Dave's Farm. Yeah, we had loads of Tug of War. Me and Eric, yeah, we had some great Tug of Wars there. Yeah, he still doesn't know I beat him in his truck. I had the brakes on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we get away from that. Uh, Marcel St. Jean. You look really cold, mate. You look freezing in that video. When you're in the truck, you got a heater on in there. You look really cold. Redneck Rickham, happy birthday, mate. Yeah. Look like you're having fun with all your pals around you. Yeah, look quite good. Should have gone real bowling, though. You're much better at that, uh, the normal 10 pin than that little roundy ball bowling thing. Vlogging life. Wow, man. There's a big holy shit storm going on in there. Hope that's not going to cost you some money. You know? Mmm. You know, does red light broadcasting get their money from makers? If they do, who knows, eh? Not good, not good, not good. But I'm sure you'll let me know. I'll let all of us know, actually. Uh, let's have a look. There was a few uh, video responses, but I put them all up. They're all below again in the other videos. Uh, Big Red put one on. He went to Mythbusters bloody studio. What were you doing there, buddy, at Mythbusters? They could have used you. If they were there, they would have used you in one of the films. They would have. They really would, because you're quite the character. The stuffs. Poor little puppy. Poor little puppy dog. Yeah. Don't like to see that. Don't like to see any of that. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, got some PMs. Went through them. Answered some back, but there's always loads. Too, too many to keep going through. Uh, let's see. What else was on about? Um, yeah. Something good happened to me today. Really good. Um, I'll show you in a minute. It was really good. Nothing like that usually happens to me. Also, bad bloody luck. So, I'll take you upstairs in a sec and I'll show you what went on. Um, what else? Yeah, Christmas shopping. Yeah, that was bloody fun. We have trouble and strife. God, I hate Christmas. Right, let's, uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you what went up there. Where's my button? Oh, here it is. There you go. Right then, tubers. Let me show you what went on today. You know, I never get any good luck, do I? I don't. I really don't. Um, let me take you through to the front room. I don't know if you've seen this room, have you? Have you seen this room? I don't know. You've seen every other room, haven't you? I know, there's a bit of the guys upstairs. Oh, the paint stops there, though. But here's the front room. Look. I don't know. I don't know if you've actually seen this room. Maybe you have. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, bloke loves d -walk stuff. All my stuff's d -walk. That's ready for tomorrow to take with me. Uh, now... Love D-Walk drills, I really do, and especially the uh, 
these torque ones, yeah, they're, they're like freaking amazing putting screws in and everything. Um, let me show you what I got. I bought this a long time ago. This little, you, you got this drill, right, which is actually a hammer drill as well. And you got this one, like the percussion drill, really good for putting the old screws in and, you know, bolts and all sorts of freaking stuff. Now it came with two batteries. Um, and these are 18 volt and they're actually there you go the nanotechnology yeah and they're like the lithium iron ones and it came in a bag it wasn't that much money when they first come out now there's my charger over there my charger now I also had trouble with one of the batteries this one was always all right and the other one would never charge properly you had to keep putting it in and out anyhow the other day let me let me talk to you the other day it actually buggered up and it wouldn't take a charge anymore. Didn't know what was up of it. So I took it down to um, Interstate, the Interstate shop, the battery shop we've got in town now, and they repair all these as well. Uh, they had a look at it and said it was absolutely done. It was fried, it had overcooked itself somehow in the charging process, and it was no good, and they can't repair them because they're uh, the Nikon whatever they are. That's why they're a good battery, they're a big battery. So I decided, well, in town, we've got, hang on, sorry, I'll back to it. In town, we've got a Dewalt shop, right? I want to show you this. It's got all my freaking particulars all over it. But we've got a Dewalt factory service place, yeah? And it's on Adelaide Street South. So any of you Londoners, Adelaide Street South, you probably know about it if you're builders. Uh, I went down there and I said to the guy, what had happened with my battery? It's always been dodgy since first time I got it. It never wanted to take charge. You had to put it in the charger, and then it would fail charge, take it out, put it back in, and it would recharge itself. And I used it for, I probably had this three years, I suppose, this set. And then it failed and it wouldn't charge anymore. Now, a set like this is no good unless you've got two batteries. You know, you can't use one battery and halfway through a job, it goes flat on you, and you've got to sit around for a half hour while it charges up. So I told him this, he had a look at the quick quick look at the battery. Now, these batteries, let me show you, are that's what they cost. You see that? That's how much they cost. $135.99 for these batteries, plus the tax. So that's probably nearly 150 bucks. And I'm like, wow, don't know what I'm gonna do. And he said, Do you know what? I'm gonna give you that battery for free and I'm going to put it on as a uh, on a warranty yeah because you, you know you've, you've, you've had your set your battery's gone dead I'm going to put it on as a warranty and it's not going to cost you any money and I went wow you know what buddy you've made my day nobody ever does that sort of stuff to me I couldn't believe it I was gobsmacked absolutely gobsmacked that somebody had like done me a favour like that and he said let's just call it the good guys day to day yeah and he, and he did, and he gave it to me free of charge. Free of charge, couldn't believe it. What a great shop, so any of you around, you know, go down, see that guy, see the manager, go and see him. You know, wow, what a nice place. I'm gonna go there all the time and get my stuff fixed, and then they do all sorts of electrical stuff as well. But that's uh, uh, on Adelaide Street South in London. What a nice guy. So now I've got my set back together, and that's gonna be perfect, because Got to get it all charged up tomorrow, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, because me and where's Bobby is going over to Pugs, and we've got to finish doing that wall. Well, I'll show you. Well, I know he's, I think he's got some on the video that's going to go up tonight, so it'll probably be in front of this one, I don't know, but you will see it. But there's a lot of work to do over there, and I've got to take all my tools. I'm going to take my, I've got a big D wall uh, cross cut saw, it's on a stand, I'm going to take that, and it's going to make life a lot easier. So, Anyhow, what a great day. Absolutely brilliant. Can't believe it. Brand new battery. Didn't cost me nothing. That's service. D walk, mate. D walk. That's the way to go. Always is. Anyhow, I'm going to, uh, anyhow, fuck, I said it again, didn't I? Dog's not barking, though. Oh, Mrs. Maybe she's took the dog out. It's all gone quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I've got to go and uh, make tea. I'll show you what I'm going to make. Right then, tubers, it's tea time. Uh, now, we were going to have, what were we going to have, love? Chili. I mean, no, we were going to no. have skewers. We were going to have pork 
and it's um, pork, pork loin. loin. Pork loin, and we've got two of them. What I do is I cut them up and I put them on the skewers with zucchini, onion, and small tomatoes. Then I put uh, barbecue sauce on them and I do them on the barbecue out there and we have them with rice. But we were going to have that and then we decided, what did we decide? To use up the leftovers. Use and up the leftovers and save money. money. So we're going to have, I, I'm going to get Chili. the. You see over there, I'm going to get the bitchin' fryer going and More I'm going to do bitch some... More bitchin' fryer. More bitchin' bitch fryer. fryer. No, I'm going to do some home fries and we're going to put the chilli on top of it, pour it over the top and we're going to have grated cheese on it, aren't I'm we? I'm not having this, guys. Well, I'm having it because I like it, right? So that's what we're going to have tonight and that saves on actually cooking all that nice uh, pork we got. So tomorrow we might be able to have pork skewers with rice and I think we got enough that we could actually have leftovers and then the next day we could use the pork with the zucchini and the onions and tomatoes and we could make wraps. some nice wraps with tzatziki sauce. Maybe have some fries with it. Oh no, no, we can't have fries again, can we? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. That's enough of today. So tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to pick Bobby up in the morning and we're going over to Bugs and we're going to finish that bloody wall. I'm going to take all the right tools over there and we're going to stomp that bugger up, right? So that's what's going to happen tomorrow. So I'm going to say bye-bye. See you tomorrow.